everyone, welcome back to my channel, Blossoming Plans, here on YouTube and on Instagram. I'm Cynthia here, and I'm looking forward to diving into our versus video. We're gonna be looking at the storage tote and the classic storage bag from the Happy Planner today. Stick around and let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna judge our storage tote and storage bag from the Happy Planner by three things of criteria. Assembly, size, and overall use of if I'm going to, if I think I'm gonna use it or if I think you guys are gonna use it more, depends really on what we find out at the end of the video. So let's start with the assembly. We are going to dive right into the storage tote. I got this at Michael's, it is available, and I actually got this on a discount. I don't know how much exactly I spent on it, but it was on sale and I used a coupon. So, I really wanted it. And if we look at it, this quick little go-to, you can insert the bottom panel, then you put the vertical dividers, and it looks like you can really personalize it to however you want to situate your planner, um, planner tote. And based off of this picture right here, you can see that they have a couple of things in there. We have at least seven sticker books, maybe a mega book in there. And then we have a half sheet and three planners and possibly a notebook. Um, and then possibly a pad here. So I'm gonna see how much we can stuff this and open it up and check it out. Gently tear the packaging off. Gently. Gently. Move you to side this heart bag. Pop her open. Boop. Ooh, look at that space. Looks like lots and lots of space. Okay, so we have the side vertical panels, or the panel panel, and we have to place them vertically. And then we have the bottom panel. So I'm just gonna put the pot bottom bottom in there there we go and we have our velcro stitching here they're both they're all soft and the velcro here so it looks like we can't put we have to put any paneling here on the left side uh, and one side but they don't have additional here so the longest one is gonna go it's not this is not the longest one but it's gonna go let me see. If we stick it here, I'm gonna stick it right there, okay? Hopefully I'm doing this right. I don't think I am, so I'm gonna stop before I break something. Oh, okay, hold on. I think this is the one that goes in here. Ooh, okay. The easiest method, I think, is going like this and then sticking one to the Velcro and sticking the other to the Velcro. And now it's Velcro. Okay, next we're gonna take another smaller panel and we're gonna stick it like this. And then we're gonna slide it on in and stick it to the panel, the Velcro panel. Boop. Okay, did I do it right? I think I did. I feel like, I don't know why it's sticking out so much. Maybe I didn't, maybe I need to switcheroo the panels. Do you think that's what it is? No, I don't think so. Because the, if this was supposed to go here, it would have a middle, just like that one. So, I don't know how I feel about this sticking out like that, but maybe it'll fix itself when I start putting stuff in it. Okay, so we have this last panel right here, and we're gonna stick it in. See, this one was the easiest one because there's a lot more space. Oh! I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong, y'all? BRB, let me figure this out. Okay, so apparently this one's right because the flappies are facing the larger side, but these two need to switch their flappy positions. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it's supposed to be tinier and then mid-tinier. And then this one, these flappy flaps are supposed to face towards moi. So let's make them do that. I did it, I did it, I did it. So, so far, first impression, super built. I like the um, faux leathery situation, little ASMR action. But, and then if this is like a woven, it feels like one of those cool woven uh, bags that you m might take to the grocery store. It's like a nice material, durable, very durable feeling. Nice stitching, I like the little stitching on the sides. Very, very good. Um, I feel like once you stick these on, at least this side for me, is, it ain't gonna budge. So this one's a little bit, eh, we could finagle. We could fin oopsie. I finagled a little too hard. Finagled a little too hard. Okay. Okay. So watch your finagling, but looks like smaller things in here, bigger things back here. Same situation, smaller here, bigger over here. I feel like this was supposed to be a straight line. My line's a little uh, topsy turvy, but that's okay because it's my bag, my tote. But that's what that's what I found to be the best. Oh, this is part of the, they came out with the first bag. I think the first bag was like a gold bag. And then they came out with the other stripey, like it had um, chevron stripes. So it reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls because it was light blue, pink, and green. And then it had like some white on it. And I like this one because I like the heart. I like the black and white hearts and the rainbow stripes are really nice. Really nice touch for me. Um, and then of course the embroidered Happy Planner logo right there. So these are, this is a bag and you can put a lot of stuff in here. This is one of them, one of the compartments. Typically people like to put their planner cover in here and kind of have it be open. This does fit a classic and a little later I'll show you how much it could fit. And then here's are some pouches. You could put things like washies, pens, pencils. Um, your mild liners, your scissors, any supplies that are small and easy to hold. You could put your washi in here. Um, I actually take this out. I really like it because you could take it out and I think that's a really nice feature. And you could put all your pens in it and be able to take it out and take this with you in your other bag if you didn't want to have to, um, you know, carry around more than that. That back. Let's open the other side. Hello from the other side. Oopsies. And we open. Oops, Pushy wants to get in the picture. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so here we have another zippy, zippy, zippy. And you have a, a lots of room in here. And then you have this pouch here. You can put sticker books in here, sticker books in here, loose sheets of stickers more washi, more planner stuff. You could just take away your stash when you're traveling. I know a lot of people like to travel, so this is really nice and easy. Let's start with this one. Okay, I'm gonna grab some planners. We're going to put you in here. This is my Stay Happy social media planner. It makes sure that I'm staying happy. Stuffing that, I'm gonna take all the pens that I have and I'm gonna stuff it in here. Okay, that's one bag. Okay, so this is one side. I'm gonna close this. Ooh. Let's see if the zipper closes. Ooh, okay. Okay, zipper. Holding up, holding up. Let's go to the other side and fill that. Fill her up, yo! Sticker books. Gotta take my memory keeping rainbow dream, summer fun, alphabet soup. 
Oop, I might have stuffed too much. Let's take a slow. Got some multi packs. Slide them underneath. Think I could put more? I think I could put more. Why not my half sheet? Let's put my half sheet planner in here. Zip. And then I want to bring some washi. I love some washi. I like it because you could lay, lay it flat down no matter how much it's stuffed. I think that's enough. Oof, she got thick. She got thick. Okay, so I, I was able to fit a half sheet planner, a bunch of washi, a lot of pens, scissors, a lot of, uh, about six sticker books, and a half sheet planner in here. So, and uh, of course it's a little bulky, but the straps still hang tight. Hang Let's loose. see how much the tote carries. I'm just gonna empty what's in here into there and then we'll fill up some more. So it obviously can fill everything that I put in this storage bag. So yes, it is quite bigger in size. Okay, okay. And don't try this at home, okay? So why don't we try to stuff it to the top? Got my bookish planner. Sorry, washi, you're gonna get a little squirt. Actually, let's take out the washi. We know it can hold it. So I got another planner. And you know what I like to take notes? I like to take notes while I'm on the road, so I'm gonna take some notes with me. And uh, you know what? When I'm on the road, I like to memory keep, so let's put my memory keeper in here. All right. Ooh, okay, okay. So we could put a little baggie of our washi, or we can just bring in some memory keeper sticker books, take it with us. Or we could put that in the front and put our other planner here. And what's really nice, if you alternate the discs, it'll help with the space inside. Don't forget mini notes in case you need to jot down other ideas. Or not. There, see, fits just fine. Tubes, washi tubes, washi tubes. Okay. Now, is this practical for me to lift? Yeah, I can. I can. Ugh. Oh dear. Okay. So, just gotta get some planner muscles, right? All right. So obviously, you win on storage. And now the third round. Will I use these or not? I believe, I believe that I will use, 
I believe that I will use this a It depends where I'm going, really, honestly, because I could take this easily to work and just have everything that I need right here for a quick plan um, that I want to jot down with just one planner, my classic, and then any other notes I could take out my mini planner half sheet or mini notebook that can fit in here as well and jot down any notes if I want to put them in my larger planner. Now, taking this monster, taking the tote with me, now I am taking this to like, um, like my grandma's house. Like let's say I was able to go to my grandma's and I want a scrapbook or memory keep with her. This is the one that I'm going to take because it's going to carry all of my tools that I need. My washi, my decorative washi, the planners and the size of the planners that I need for it my half planners and other notebooks that I would like to work in other planners that I want to work in or decorate or whatever so this is definitely like a day trip day trip with the girls a little planning party I feel like this would be the one I would take and then this one's kind of like an everyday situation for me um, because just because we are simplifying it for when I do my everyday and this is like a project like I will take this for a project like if I'm planning out something big or memory keeping or just enjoying myself so can I get a drum roll please on the battle of the storage both of them <laughs> I would love I love both of them way too much they're both great in their own aspects and what they want to do and their purpose for each and every single one of you. I think Happy Planner created a great storage system that is not only fashionable and cute but really useful and fun to use and makes you happy because you can have everything with you that you absolutely need besides a Cricut or a paper cutter or anything too huge to even travel with but this has definitely been so much fun making and I'm really happy to share this with you and let me know if you want to do another one what other supplies that happy planner has come out with that you want me to put against each other sorry for wiggling there this monster is just tearing everything down <laughs> but um i absolutely love them and this has been another video with me over here blossoming plans cynthia your friend and i really appreciate you stopping on by and watching my channel don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe let me know if you want another battle between things and I will hopefully come up with a winner at that time because these ones I actually will use and I'm not lying because I actually had to empty this one out for my video. So that wraps it up and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get to planning. Make sure to blossom your plans. Bye! And you can actually fit. You don't have to choose between them. You could... You could do both if you want. And it actually fits in there, so that's...